I had a feeling you'd show up. I'd ask what you want, but it's obvious. You want to know about Shiva, yes? I'm as informationally challenged on that front as you are, sadly. Harriet told you most of it already. I created Harriet. She was the ultimate photon vessel. Undoubtedly my greatest masterpiece. The vessel gained a sense of self. A will. Not unlike the birth of intelligence itself. Xion's beginnings. The sudden birth of intelligence within the oceans. I recreated that phenomenon. If not for those pompous barbarians who saw her as a mere vessel, she would have attained omniscience. I had the time, the technology, the Akashic records to use as a model. And yet, the people wished for an instant solution. They ripped the original soul from the vessel, poured photons into it, and used it as bait. Bait for the profound darkness, which exists to expunge photons. Their plan succeeded. The profound darkness entered the vessel, gained intelligence, and was bound to its physical form. All that remains was to dispose of the body. But the barbarians miscalculated. The entity now known as Shiva had attained the ability to understand others. She left the Dark Falls, cancerous outgrowths of mortal desires, to tie her to this universe, all in anticipation of her eventual return. And that is what we are. So, a rather pathetic tale, is it not? Relating it to you is my way of thanking you. As a person. As Luther. You saved Harriet's soul. Knowing that has been most beneficial to me. Xion was naturally aware of her as well, I suspect. Which is why they were sympathetic. Shipwide announcements. You must be exhausted, Ulk. Well done, Ulk. But by the way, the Guardian's here. Oh, <laughs> welcome aboard. Sorry we're putting so much pressure on you. We'll do what we can to help. I know we'll succeed if it's a team effort. My next task is to get the fleet up to... Oh, oh dear. I I'm getting dizzy all of a sudden. Ook! Jeez, are you okay? Ook! <laughs> uh, just got a little lightheaded there for a second. Thanks, Theo. You can't just laugh this off, Ook. You're pushing yourself way too hard. Oh, <laughs> is that how it looks? <laughs> You have to know your limits. If you keep this up, you're seriously going to pass out. But if I don't make it count now, we're finished. This is no time to take a break. You're right. We'll do it together then. Whatever it takes. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is this, Theo? 
Usually, you'd try to stop me, or shy away when things get tough. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, the old me would have forced you to take a break, or just get depressed that I couldn't help. I'm still anxious about a lot of things, but knowing how committed you are makes me want to help you even more. I made a decision to be with you, Oak. And moments like these are exactly why. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you all right, Oak? <laughs> I'm fine, just fine. In fact, I feel like I can do anything now. <laughs> Thanks, Theo. It's nice you two are hitting it off. But can you save it for another time? Oh, why would you feel sorry for me? It's not like I'm jealous or anything. <laughs> not in the slightest. <laughs> uh, sorry. I had you all worried for nothing. I'm completely fine now. Uh, uh, time to get to work. I know we can overcome this. And regain control of our future. Those photoners were remarkably strong, weren't they? Just like with Shiva and Mitra, they seem to be absorbing our photons to cancel out attacks. Can all photoners absorb photons like that? If I had to guess, it's Shiva's protection. What do you mean? Shiva is the only photoner who can absorb photons naturally. She exists to contain all photons, to absorb them. And so she does. But it seems Shiva is capable of sharing this gift with her allies. The goddess's divine protection, if you will. Does that mean all of Shiva's allies are capable of absorbing photons? Correct. Each photon varies in capability, however. They're far from invincible. Really? Yes. Each photoner appears to have a certain tolerance for photon absorption. An attack that exceeds this photonic tolerance level should be able to harm them. We already have proof of this. You were able to defeat those photoner troops, weren't you? Oh, yeah. They were pretty strong. But we did manage to beat them. So, if we can just hit Shiva with something that exceeds her tolerance for photons... Yes. It should be possible to defeat her. That said, Shiva is the profound darkness incarnate. She was created to contain all photons. We require enough strength to exceed such titanic photonic power. That's... gonna be tough, huh? over with arcs independent operating codes never thought those would need to be used excuse me <sighs> oh hi Kostra what do you need my presence is unwanted as always I see no matter excellent timing I can get you both up to speed 
We still can't predict what will happen, but the situation has settled down a bit. Firstly, Shiva and her forces now have complete control of the Mothership. We're referring to it as Mothership Shiva and are currently searching for its whereabouts. Each Ark ship is operating independently. I imagine you're well aware of this, Sierra. Right. There was some commotion at first, but everything's stable now. Ark suffered overall losses of 40% in the last battle, including significant casualties. We're also currently investigating the enemy Shiva brought with her. Those machine-looking thingies? Are they photoners too? We can't say at this point. Reports indicate they have no will of their own, however. So they're mechanical weapons? Hey, looks like some data came in! Ah, it's too much data! No! Kostra! What's with all this data? My oral reports only cover the bare essentials. You may peruse this data for a more complete picture. Now, if you'll excuse me. in such a disorganized state? Would it kill him to do some basic organization? Those machine-like enemies we fought on the mothership were really powerful, weren't they? The ones Shiva brought with her? They're under analysis as we speak, but we honestly don't know much about them at this point. Really? Yep, no signs of life, so it's clear they're autonomous mechanical weapons at least. But their structure and materials employ technology Arx is unfamiliar with. Mechanical weapons created with unknown technology. We're calling them Lumen Mechs for now. Their mobility, armor, and destructive power were all off the charts. Who could possibly create such a thing? They were created using Photoner technology. Photoner technology is still way outside our grasp, I take it. So it would appear. Even the latest Arcs developed technology is easily outstripped by outdated Photoner weaponry. Almighty mechanical weapons created with ancient cutting-edge technology to defeat the profound darkness. The corrupted were used to seal away the profound darkness by Shiva, and placed under her control. They've been further enhanced by the profound darkness's corruption. So they're already tough enough, and Shiva's powered them up even more? How are we supposed to fight them? A weakness. Now that you mention it, striking their flashy red sections seemed to hurt them. Maybe their armor was forcibly removed to receive Shiva's corruption. Whatever the case, I'm sure they're aware of it. Any weapon worth its salt will attack while keeping its weak points hidden. But if we can somehow exploit those weak points, we can beat them. Once we have that figured out, we'll be fighting on a much more level playing field. Shiva lady! Our photons don't work? How is that even remotely fair? 
We all did the best we could, and we couldn't even make a dent in them. Boss, it just... it just sucks. I let everyone down again, and it feels like I'm useless to the cause. What was I supposed to do? Thank you, boss. That's very comforting to hear. I refuse to give up. I know we can still do something. I know I can still do something. Instead of just taking orders, I want to use my own judgment and make decisions I won't regret. I may not be the toughest operative around, but I'm gonna think this through and fight with everything I've got. If I'm lucky, maybe I'll even earn a compliment or two from you, boss. Wait, I didn't mean that. Not sure where that came from. Anyway, I'm gonna go make myself useful. See you later, boss. through your records. There's access history in the database, too. Did something happen between you two? Wait. Ah! S signing off! I had good reason to look into your past. The hero who saved the universe. The rumors were true, after all. Your Ark's great hope. However, the greater the hope, the greater the despair upon its loss. You're admired, revered. What happens when you vanish from the world? Did you consider that? You should have never become a beacon of hope. You should have never existed in the first place. Don't give me that look, Guardian. Even if I kill you here and now, she'll fall into despair regardless. You need to live a long and healthy life, as her greatest hope, as Arcs. Oh, did that shake you? Very well. Let us extend that lifespan of yours, however briefly. Allow me to share with you an incantation most dreadful. Oh, mighty shadow, vanquisher of the light, be my strength, as fangs to the foolish. Arise within me, O oh phantom! Your thoughts? <laughs> Terrified beyond words. Very well. Allow me to educate you. If heroes favor power, phantoms favor craft. Do not confuse this with technique or skill. One must fight with the power of shadow. Not that I need to tell you. You already wield the might of darkness, yes? To become a true phantom, you must be willing to employ any means necessary. Turn your ear once more to the darkness lurking within you. He 
has an unconventional view of the world, doesn't he? But for some reason, I have this urge to start chanting, too. You're a scary guy, Kyokuya. Something? It's about that new phantom class advocate, Kyokuya. I keep getting comments like, he walks so quick I can't keep up, or his scary gaze petrifies me, or, uh, he talks weird. So everyone's wondering what kind of person he is. I'm not even sure myself, honestly. I can't grasp personalities or thought process from data alone. So, I thought I'd ask you or his friend Stratos. What do you need? <laughs> you startled me! When did you get here, Kyokuya? A phantom lurks in darkness, employing the ears of the accursed to expose evil. You'd best be careful with unfounded gossip. Ears of the accursed? Is that some kind of ability to stop nasty rumors or something? No, no. The ears of the accursed. Let that phrase burn deep into your psyche. Perfect timing. I'm Sierra, the art ship officer. Could I have a little talk with you? I have so many questions from people on the ship. As you wish. Thank you. Okay, first question. It's my alias. Lurking in darkness. Lunging at the enemy's throat without hesitation. That's what I'm all about. Okay, so if Black Wolf is your alias, how did you come up with it? A wolf stalks its prey with no emotion. Treading through the darkness to kill by fair or foul. It fits me perfectly. Um, <laughs> wolves are certainly handsome creatures. Uh, so, for the next question. You always wear black clothing and hang out in shadowy areas. Do you have an aversion to light? The light is too radiant for me. A phantom lurks in the darkness. Light is the bane of my existence, in a sense. Okay, I think I get it. And now for the final question. Tell us what is unique about the Phantom class. If a hero is light, a phantom is shadow. The shadow can achieve a mission by means unthinkable to the light. It never takes center stage, yet exists without fail, plotting its next move. We dart through the darkness, wherever it is found. That is the way of the Phantom. <laughs> That's really something. Not exactly sure what you mean about existing without fail. But basically, a Phantom is someone who gets the job done by any means necessary. An anti-hero. Would that be an accurate way of putting it? <laughs> if you've reached a point of understanding, Stay out of my way. The ill-prepared will find themselves ensnared by the Phantom's curse. Right, then. Farewell. I'm not sure what to say. He really does like trying to sound cool, huh? But I kind of get it. He's willing to use any means necessary, so we should think twice before approaching him. Hmm... Figuring out the meaning behind his words, and the man himself, is going to take some time, I think.
between Harriet and Zig here. Harriet the Celestial, an assault rifle cosmogenic arm. I see, I see. And where would Miss Harriet happen to be? If you're looking for me, I'm right here. Ah. So your photons formed into a cosmogenic arm. A special type, just like Aurora. Aye. Simply put, the other cosmogenic arms don't talk. Although cosmogenic arms are known to choose their wielders, they usually don't speak. The Blade of Genesis, Clarissa III the Bright, and the other cosmogenic arms were not forged from living persons. Aurora and Miss Harriet are another matter entirely. You both possess powerful wills. Their souls likely entwine with photons to change form, linking to their wielders to unleash their power. Cosmogenic arms of the past had souls as well, deriving overwhelming power through their ties to Xion. When the soul is exhausted, the armament reaches the end of its life cycle. Such was the case for World's End. Though its form was restored, its full power was not. I suspect it lost its soul. The soul that once dwelt in World's End likely fulfilled its role. Satiated. It simply vanished. It achieved its one true desire. You may be right. Case, I pity Labris. Poor thing gets damaged and repaired over and over ad infinitum. Perhaps it longs for release. If only there were some way to ask it how it feels. Let me take a look at that operations data. Interesting. So that's how it is. Raw data never tells the whole story. Drive systems under crazy strain. Big boost to mobility, but can't say I'm a fan of the hit to durability. <laughs> Seeing her so absorbed in this reminds me of Sierra, don't you think? Right? Maybe she's a distant relative or something. I guess I'm being silly, though. Sierra's the only high cast on each ship, so... Actually, I do see a resemblance. I'm a high cast as well, you know. A Ludmilla type. Wow! 
No kidding? After the Void apparatus was dismantled, the Research Bureau was restructured too. Part of Ark's general reformation, you know? The restructured Research Bureau didn't have a genius on board like Luther, but each field had a lot more experts. Her knowledge and experience was stored in a database, then applied to modules specified for calculation. And the result was me, Ludmilla, the Research Bureau's resident high-cast AIS R&D specialist. Wow! So Sierra wasn't the only high-cast after all. Nope, but my duty is to thoroughly research, modify, and enhance AIS units. With that in mind, I want you to go out there, pilot AIS is still your blue in the face, and give me all that sweet, sweet data you can. Anyway, happy hunting and have a nice day. I'm not so great at piloting AISs, but hearing her say that really makes me want to help out. Okay, let's get down to business. Efficiency shows improvement, but now other problems are cropping up left and right. Too much stress on the frame, and the cockpit's life support function could stand to be tuned up. Oh, hello! How's it going? Oh, this tablet? It's a simulator for AIS development. I use it to simulate AIS that I've modified based on data received from ARC's ops. Then, I incorporate the results into my design to streamline the body, modifying AIS to meet everyone's needs. Oh, if you've got something to add, please don't hesitate to chime in. Huh? Oh, sure, I mean, I'm not used to getting compliments, so... Wow. <laughs> I'm just doing my job, after all. I love my research, so I'll do whatever it takes to push it along. And with that, good luck out there. I'll be counting on you. Come on! Let's play! Let's play! Come on! Come on! You've got time! You've got time! You brats are really pissing me off. I ain't got time to horse around with you. <laughs> Why not? Why not play if you've got the time? Huh? Why not? What will it take to get you to play? Shut it, you damn rugrats. You're crazy if you think I'll ever forget about the messes you two have made. If it hadn't been for you, Sheena never would have died. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Ugh. Lose the damn puppy dog eyes. We got no time to throw a pity party here. I get it. You guys aren't the same as Gemini the Duplicate. That said, you still look exactly like him. The mere sight of you almost sends me spiraling. Get it? Now leave me alone. Ah, oh, come on! Play together! <sighs> you little! We don't want you to forget. We don't want you to forgive. We don't like it when you get mad, but it's understandable. We don't like it when you get violent, but it's understandable. Be 
Even so, I still want to play with you. I still want to play with you too! When we came here, we decided we would be true to our feelings. That's because we felt it would be silly to keep lying. We're gonna do what we want. We're going to do what we want! So, let's play! Unbelievable! Why do I always have to be surrounded by such selfish children? Enhancement. No one was at the General Affairs Bureau, so I came to talk with you directly. Right, right. It's been utter chaos since Shiva showed up. I'll try to help if I can. Right. So, here's an estimate for the parts and specs needed for AIS enhancements, along with the blueprints for exclusive facilities. Okay. I'll take a look for you. Let's see... 180 types of armor enhancement parts, cockpit manipulator expansions, new booster specs, additional costs for frame drive optimization, enhancement and storage facility plans, and how much floor space? Camilla, this is a tall order. Thanks for taking care of it. Whoa, hold on a second. I can't get this done right away. We don't have enough engineers. If I can just get your approval, I can do the rest on my end. That's not the issue. Getting authorization so quickly for this means more chaos. We don't even have the space for these facilities. The photoners won't wait around. This is for the safety of ARCs, so I know you can do it. I think she's being unreasonable about this, isn't she? Am I crazy? Is that all I get? This is about the AIS, you know. You'll be riding in them. Intelligence and research bureaus are always asking me to bend over backwards, too. But fine. I got this. Somebody's got to do it, right? Yo! Fancy meeting you here! We're training for naval combat! A Photon or Armada could attack at any time, so we're checking our formations and training daily to stay at the ready. Huey and I give orders to an entire fleet of battleships now! Pretty cool, right? Communication between battleships is essential for naval combat, and we're here to facilitate that. I'm the Combat Bureau Commander, and Claris Craze is my lieutenant. We've taken charge of the fleet. As you should. Huey and I are perfectly in sync. When it comes to combat tactics, we've got things locked down. Kosra is cooking up a strategy for us. He said we wouldn't last five minutes if we formed our own strategies. So he told us to shut up and do as he said. <laughs> Kasra's a nervous wreck. 
But I gotta say, his strategies are airtight. Our duties are mostly limited to Oracle fleet reinforcements and AIS transport. That means you, Boneheads, are in the vanguard! I know you won't let us down out there! the handling of the enhanced AIS units. With the two of them being informants, I thought they might get a lot of feedback from people all over ARCS. Now then, I'd like to hear your subjective opinions on the matter. See, Ludmilla? You coming to us for intel shows me that you're a researcher with quite the head on her shoulders. Well, we do have experience piloting AIS, so we're happy to help. Plus, we're used to interviewing others in our line of work, so it should be fun being on the other end of the mic for once. Actually, I'm the only one getting actual stories, Patty. You need to suck it up and learn how to do it yourself. Ask away, Ludmilla. I'll answer whatever you throw at me. Why don't you ever listen to me, silly? Okay, let's start with a general question. How do you feel about AIS mobility in space? Is there any physical discomfort? Well, it's like... Um, I feel a lot more floaty in space than on the ground, but sometimes it's kind of like, oh, I guess. Okay... Um... Do you feel any recoil when using the high boost function? First, there's like a swoosh. Then it sort of goes... I actually kind of like that feeling. I see. Uh, how about you, Tia? In space, sometimes not knowing which way is up or down feels somewhat odd. High boost puts a bit of pressure on the body, but it's nothing significant. I see. What about shot accuracy? When dealing with live ammo, there's a huge difference with air resistance. But we're using photon bullets, so it's not so... All right, cool. Anything else you want me to answer? Oh, I've taken enough data from you, Patty. Thanks for your input. Yes, I'd also like to get some input from you, too, in a bit. Now, back to Tia. Don't lock me out! I want to be part of this, too! Injuries? I'm fine. They're no big deal. What about you two? Not that we really have time for medical checks right now. Sarah, what's on Ambeskia? No idea. Xiao just said to go there. But I think I might know what he's after, though. Amdeskia is where you first met, Xiao.
Yeah. Only thing I can think of is that he wants us to talk with Rokamis, the Draconian Elder. I'm... sure we'll figure something out there. Isn't that right, Xiao? Just wait on the ship. I'm the one connected to Xiao. I have to go. To put it in terms you'd understand, this is the one time I gotta push myself. <sighs> I've been waiting for you. doing here the draconians are not known to show restraint let's say what's that supposed to mean She's just saying hi. Like I said, they're not known for restraint. I have... Draconian ties. So, I can be your guide, if you'd like. Besides, we could come under attack at any moment. Staying together is paramount. You... never change, Rila. Did you know we were coming? Draconian of Amduskia, and Xiao's friend. Indeed. I sense a child within you. I had heard tell of you, but this is the first time we have spoken, Oracle of Xiao. Yes, in your language, she is connected to Shao. However, if I can, I believe this rephrasing conveys my intent. Rila and I are similar to each other, which makes rogue Kamis. Precisely. I am a replica of Planet Xion, 
The Akashic Records. An abandoned creation. I am a replica of the intermediate phase. I have siblings that were born around the same time. However, I and another Shion replica both lacked something the original possessed. I lacked the ability to predict. The other lacked the ability to process. It is not hard to imagine how dearly they wish to make us one. Yes. Astoundingly, the photons of the time attempted to make that wish a reality. They planned to fuse us together to create the perfect Xi'an replica. Naturally, they failed. This planet, Amduskia, was born as a result. Legend speaks of a battle between the heavenly dragon Teriyoto and the hellish dragon Kashina. A clash of replicas. However, I do not think this unpleasant. Nor do I loathe the photons. Such emotions exist not within me. Being here is a unique blessing. That is enough. I do not know how Kashina feels. However, Before Shao vanished, he said to go to Amduskia. Did he want you as the new overseer? Nay, that changes nothing. I lack Shao's ability to predict. A makeshift solution, nothing more. Then, what do we do? Our savage struggle placed the dragon Kashina in an unwaking slumber. Kashina's vessel lies deep within Amduskia, sustaining the hell within it. Can we reach Kashina's resting place? Do you plan to transfer Sha into Kashina? If the process fails, both you and Sha face great peril. An outcome Sha ill wishes to happen. It's the only way to get him back. That must be why he sent me here. And hey, we both hate to give up without a fight. Shao has saved my life twice. I owe him. Big time. This is necessary to protect everyone. Please, we're begging you! The will of mortals is a beautiful thing. In acknowledgement, I shall show you the way to Kashina. 
Rila of Ko, guide them. Yes, Master Queen! Rila's a little big to follow us into the volcanic cave depths, isn't she? You shrunk? Body configuration and Dracolite size are easily tweaked by the Oracle. You may also contact me through Rila. Now, go. Find Kashima. There is something I do not understand. Why lend strength to be descendants of the Photoners? Because the original wishes it? That's not Xion's wish. She wants to save just one person. Saving Sarah, providing advice, I'm doing it all of my own volition. But, I might be dancing to Xion's tune, regardless. I understand even less now. Shao, what is it you truly seek? Lighten up, Kamis. You make it sound like I'm some grand mastermind. Still, if I were to put it into words... I wish... to see the will of mortals. Surpass our own. Always this way. What do you think, Rila? Correct, Kuna. The path to the Hellworm Kashina was always like this. Some suspected that the appearance of what you call corrupted regions indicated Kashina's. Awakening. This is likely the draconian form, the form of Amdaskia, Kashina wished for. Draconians who linger here go mad from Kashina's influence, fighting, friend and foe alike. That is why none enter. None draw near. Kashina sleeps alone. So, Kashina, the key to getting Shao back lies within. We all feel the same way. Everyone wants Shao to come back. But that's why you can't rush things, Sarah. It'll be okay. Thanks. You too. 
P.S. Do not fret, Oracle of Arcs, for I am with you. Draconians are attacking us, but that's all. Guess the Ark's fleet is luring the enemy away. Your Oracle is prone to worry, I see. This place may hold danger, but it is also sacred. This is not a realm so easily entered. <laughs> Rila, get back. A fault on a tripper? Claire's praise and the others should be keeping the enemy fleet at bay. They must have pinpointed you and Matoy's coordinates. And warped here. We certainly should have seen this coming. It is the same thing we have done to the false spawn. Our intel advantage is down the tubes. Hostiles could arrive from anywhere. If we leave them be, they'll just send more. It's the only way.
Didn't you call this a grave? But this is... <sighs> you recognize it, don't you? This feeling? Kashina was created as a replica of Xion, so it makes sense. The structure should be similar, so the core is... over there. Now Xiao can... <gasps> Sarah! That was supposed to have finished you off. Glimpse me out of the corner of your eye. The pulse I sense within you. You seem different from other Arcs operatives. Somehow. My master ordered me to pursue you, and so I followed. You were behaving oddly, so I let you flit about for a while. The correct choice, it seems. This place is important to you, isn't it? The key to your counter-offensive. Its ruination is all I require, then. So that's the game. You are but a mere mote of dust. You change nothing. Hm. Don't you dare look down on me, Boat Honor! Graceless, but viable strategy. As long as you can keep it up, that is. Hate to admit it, but he's right. I can't keep this up for long. Sarah, we'll buy you time. Go wake up Xiao in the meantime. Okay. Rila, if you would. Hey, A wasted effort. something the matter. It seems you were far more powerful on Omega. Guard you. As I've said, 
all is for the sake of my master. I simply used every means available to return my master to this universe. I hid on Omega, acted as a knight, stood by you, and saved the world to restore my master. And I will destroy this universe, just as my master wishes. That is my master's calling, and mine as well, as Varuna, God of Justice. God of Justice? Mitra and I require our master, and our master requires us. Nothing else is necessary. Not even this universe. Exactly how long do you plan to keep up this farce? You must realize that you only delay the inevitable. What did you say? If you wish to halt me here, I'll happily play along with you. You see, that is my will as well. What? No, it can't be. Please! Wherever are you going? Out of the way! Wake up, Xiao! Everyone's waiting for you! 
He can't do anything without you! So, don't worry about me. Go ahead, use this body! Now wake up already! <sighs> I'm sorry. That was heartless. No one would listen to a plea like that. I don't want to die. I don't want to lose my body. And above all, I want to be with you. I promised you that. No, that's not right. That's a lie too. My promise had nothing to do with it. I don't know how to put this feeling into words. I don't know how to convey this to you at all. But I want to be with you. I want to laugh, scream, and fight with you. I want to enjoy so many things with you. I want to walk through this life with you. Shao, I want to be with you. Not as a single fused being, but as ourselves. I want to stand by you as a person. So, please, Shao, I'm begging you. Sensing a nearby dimensional jump. Clear as Crace, commence blasting! They've grasped my position? And this visibility? But even if they have, the power of two Xion replicas, together at last. Thanks for the quick work, Kamis. I require no thanks. This moment enjoys the future. Shao! Sorry to keep you waiting, everyone. You did great. No need to worry. She's simply sleeping. Her hard work is the reason I'm here. The reason I exist. How could I fail to repay her? I don't detect him nearby. Probably withdrew after seeing the situation. Sha, so you're really back. Felt like something yanked me out of a nap. But everything worked out, so I owe Sarah a thank you. I heard a huge explosion earlier. Is the vessel okay? Kashina's core was destroyed. But the form of the vessel isn't what Draconians value, right? Correct! What matters is the soul! A 
vessel can be found anywhere. Shell took form by binding the crushed dracolite. Put simply, the particles floating around here are me. I'm just molding them into shape. The Dracolite gives me an easy link with Kamis, assisting me in the ability that I have to predict. Which means our next step is crystal clear. have joined hands, have they? Discarded by photoners, yet bound to their descendants. Truly and utter nonsensical. My apologies. My pursuit failed, and they grow stronger as a result. What are you apologizing for, Varuna? The dust has merely hardened into dirt. We will move on from this, and I expect your continued loyalty and devotion, Varuna, God of Justice. Without question. What is it? <laughs> 